Hello viewers. In this video, we are going to consider six problems and I believe that this will help us to uh, develop problem solving skills. Here we are going to focus only on union. Remember in the classroom, in the physical classroom, I call your attention to what is called the mathematical English. And I said the union you know, B is a set of X in such a way that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. Please pay attention to that conjunction or we are going to use it a lot in this video. So before we proceed now, whenever we are talking about union, there is another important thing which is the number of the union, the number of elements that form the union. So here we are going to consider two facts. The first one is lemma, while the second one is inclusion and exclusion principle. You remember in the classroom that I call your attention to this lemma and I said this lemma holds even only if the two sets they are finite disjoint sets. What do I mean by that? They have no intersection. Uh -huh. So which means that this number of A in B A is still talking about the number of elements in A in B in such a way that X belongs to A or B. So for this case now, if we are talking about finite disjoint sets, so the lemma holds, I prove it to you in the classroom. Now also remember the second one which is called inclusion and exclusion principle. This old, even if at all we have intersection, but this time around now we are talking about the number the number of A in B when there is finite, when the A and B they are finite disjoint states. And number of A in B if A and B they have something in common. So let's proceed now to those six questions which I believe is going to help us. They are, those questions will help us to develop problem solving skills. Thank you very much.